guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad everyone stopped by today because today we are finally going to do Mama from Tattletale. You guys absolutely loved Tattletale. He is my most watched video ever now. <laughs> I am very surprised on how well Tattletale did, so of course I have to make Mama. Now, Mama shows up in the video games in two different forms. One is just semi-normal, like the toy she is, and the other one is the scary, kind of demonic-looking one. And I thought the demonic, scary-looking one would be a lot more fun to make, so that's what we're going to do today. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, guys, the first clay piece I'm going to be making for Mama is going to be her chest. To do this, I'm going to be taking a large piece of clay, and I'm going to flatten it out with my rolling pin. Once I have my clay flattened out, I'm going to be taking a paper pattern that I cut out ahead of time and I'm going to lay it on my clay and I'm going to trace around it and cut out the clay piece. After I cut out my clay, I'm going to smooth all the edges with my finger and then we're going to start working on the cassette player. To make the cassette player, I'm going to be doing the same thing that I just did. I'm going to get a smaller amount of clay this time and I'm going to roll it out. And I have another two different paper patterns cut out that I'm going to be using to trace and cut out clay. The two pieces that I need to make for the cassette player are going to be a row of buttons and then the door that the tape would go into if you were to play a cassette player. This will not obviously be a functional cassette player, it's just mainly for the look. So after I cut these pieces out, I'm going to lay them on the original piece that we cut out into the positions that they need to be, and then I'm going to start blending and sculpting um, and adding the little button details for each button. Once this piece is finished, you'll notice that I have it laying in the pan in a way that makes it curve because Mama's kind of round and I need the pieces to not be completely flat, so this causes it to droop nicely and I'm going to be baking it so that it'll harden in this position. Now before I start on Mama's face, I need to make her some teeth. She has six of them total and they're all different lengths and sizes so you don't need to make them match. While doing this, I'm also making a piece for one of her ears because the scary version that I'm doing has her ears all cut up and one of the little plastic bits that makes her ears move is actually sticking out. So I'm going to be making that too. Now these I'm going to be baking along with the other piece that we just finished and then we will start working on her mouth and her eyes. Okay, to make Mama's mouth, I'm going to be doing the same thing, rolling out some clay and using a paper pattern. Um, the paper pattern I'm using here shapes mainly her cheeks and where her muzzle's going to be. After I have this piece cut out, I'm going to add some more dimensions by adding clay to where her cheeks would be and building that up. Now the expression that I want Mama to make is the one where her jaw is dropped and you can see all of her sharp teeth. Now to do this, I'm going to have to um, build the jaw downwards. You can see normally you would have the other piece of clay that we just made right below this. But I'm actually going to be making it to where her head can spin. 
So I need to have something taking the place of where that part of the clay would be. So I'm going to wrap some cardboard in some tin foil and lay it where her chest piece would be. That way when I build up her mouth, it's lifted up and it won't catch onto the other part of the clay. After her mouth is finished, I just need to add her teeth along with her heart nose on top. This piece I'm going to be doing the same when I bake it, I'm going to rest it in a way that makes it slightly curved. Now the last pieces I need to make are her eyes. Um, to do this, I'm going to roll some clay out and make some circles. And then I have these little glass circles that I'm going to be using to make it look like her eyes are glowing. Then I'm going to be wrapping clay around it and then doing a little bit of decoration to make it look kind of metal-like. Now the clay that I'm using for all of this is an original Sculpey clay. This is the kind of clay that can be baked in any kitchen oven and all of the pieces that I've shown here are going to be baked at the temperature 275 Fahrenheit for roughly 50 to 55 minutes. After our clay has cooled from baking, it's time to start on painting. To start, I'm going to mix up a skin tone pigment to go over the clay pieces. If you guys are curious on how to blend your paint into a skin tone, it's pretty simple. I like using yellows, reds, and blues, and you'll just change the amount of each color to get different tones. Um, you could also add black or white into it to lighten or darken it up. You guys may notice that there are some feet in the background that I didn't show you how to sculpt. They're pretty simple, but my reasoning for not showing you is I didn't end up using them in the finished piece. My mama is actually going on the shelf, and I found it was just making it hard to stand because she's so wide, unlike Tattletail, she just couldn't balance on the feet. So yes, I know mama has feet, but I just couldn't get them to work for how I wanted to display mama, so I just took them out. Next, I'm going to be painting the inside of Mama's mouth black along with the little window to the cassette player. Um, I'm going to paint that black too. After that, I'm going to paint the door of the cassette player a slightly darker tint so it can stand out a bit more. Then of course I need to paint Mama's nose pink. And then her play buttons are going to be white with black lettering. And of course her teeth are going to be white as well. Now 
for Mama's eyes, the only thing I'm going to do is paint the clay part a nice gray metal color, and then I'm going to add some white highlights, because I want this to look like a metal piece. I know like when Mama isn't scary, she doesn't have eyes like this, but when she's scary, she has really glowy eyes, and I wanted to add a nice creepy factor to them. After my paint has dried, I'm going to scrape the extra paint that got on my glass eyes away, and then I'm going to resin everything. You guys don't have to use resin if you don't want to, but I highly recommend at least getting a spray-on varnish to help protect the paint. Um, but the resin will help protect it a lot better because it's like having a thin layer of plastic over everything. Okay, now that all of our clay pieces are done, I'm going to start moving on to the body of Mama. I'm going to be making Mama's body into two separate sections. One is going to be her lower body and the other part is going to be her head. So first thing I'm going to do is creating a base for her body and then a part that's going to separate the head from the body and make it where it can turn. To do this I cut out three separate large circles out of cardboard and I'm going to be covering two of them in black fabric and the final one is going to be in her brown fur. Next, I'm going to cut out the fabric for her body. This pattern is really simple. It's basically a square at the bottom and then a kind of the same thing, a square, but I have it tapered off into a triangle at the top. So the bottom part is her body and the top part is her head. I'm going to cut out four pieces of each. Out of my fabric patterns, I'm going to take one of each and I'm going to be using that and tracing out where the clay part's going to be and cutting that out. So you can see this one has holes for the eyes and the mouth, and then the bottom one has a hole where the chest is going to be. Now that our clay pieces have fully dried from resining, I can start working with them and adding them to the body. First thing I'm going to do is take the chest piece of Mama and I'm going to glue it to the base of her that we wrapped in brown fur earlier. Now I'm going to sew the fabric together to make her body, so I'm going to connect it into one circle. Now I can start gluing this around the chest piece and around the base of the body. Pretty much at this point we're kind of making it like a basket. Next we're going to stuff the body and then I'm going to take one of the black circles and run a cord through it, tying a knot at one end, the part that's going to be inside of the body, and then we're going to glue this on top. Okay, now we're going to move on to Mama's head. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the chest piece and we're going to glue her mouth onto the other black circle. Now we're going to take the four pieces of fabric for her head and we're going to sew them all together until they basically take the form of like a cat. I left the 
top of Mama's head open, that way I could sew on the tuft of fur that is on top of her head. Next I'm going to glue on her eyes. And we're going to take the whole fabric piece and start gluing it around her mouth. And then we're going to glue all the fur around the black circle. I left a hole in the back of her head so I could stuff her and we'll close that up afterwards. Now we're going to take the cords that are hanging out of her body and we're going to run them through a hole that I have in the black circle at the base of her head. Once we have that through, I'm going to reach inside of the head and I'm going to tie a knot nice and firm. That way um, her head is strongly attached to her body but there's enough room that way she can turn. Lastly, we need to make Mama's ears. To do this, I took some felt and I drew out the pattern for her cut up ears and I cut those out. Now I'm going to be gluing this onto the brown fabric that we used for her body and then I'm going to cut the brown fabric out too. On one of the ears, we're going to take the peg that we made earlier that um, sticks out of her broken ear and we're going to glue that onto it. Now I just need to cut some holes for her ears, put some glue there, and then we're going to put her ears on and she is all finished. And here is our finished mama. I think she came out awesome and super scary. She's pretty big actually. Um, her head, let me show you how it spins around. It goes all the way around. Completely. <laughs> like an owl. It's super creepy. Now the only thing is I wish I could have done this, but you guys probably can if you look into how to do it. But I wanted to do the head where it was motorized and to have the lights on the eyes actually light up. But I just didn't know how to do it and I didn't have the time to figure it out myself. But if you guys do the research, I'm sure it wouldn't be very hard to add that feature as well. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe for more of my videos so you don't miss out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!